You know, this is one of those where when you get to create your own prayer book, you wrestle with what do you want to do with this passage? I mean, do you want to go and find a better translation? Or do you want to be a little more literal? And sometimes you are going to go with the second. Because sometimes it's important to have the quasi-literal translation in front of us. Because that gets us to wrestle with it. Because this is hard for us in this day and age. This image of this God and throne on, on high with a staff and us being compared to sheep passing underneath that staff and being judged by this presence. It's really hard. So let's wrestle with it. What does this mean? I mean, it's, it's an image, right? We, we don't have to actually believe in the image that is being conjured in front of us. Maybe it is there to help us get to a deeper place, to a different place. So let's imagine that we could do away with this image we have of that old bearded man sitting on that throne, because all of that we have digested and ingested from years and years of being told this is what God is. What if we rejected that idea? What if at this point in our life we would say, no, nah, that doesn't work for us anymore. That is not actually an expression of the reality of the spiritual reality we know, we encounter, we can abide by. So what if this wasn't talking about that outer being passing judgment upon us? What if it was our inner, greater self? And our inner, greater self is not the lower, small self that continuously passes judgment on us. And who needs a big father figure in the clouds to, on a daily basis, judge us when we do that ourselves really well, thank you. In fact, we may be the harshest judge of ourselves that could ever be created or invented. But this is not talking about the lower self that criticizes us every time we do something stupid again. <laughs> now, we are trying to get in touch with our higher self. What if that higher self of us would see that little self of us doing the stupid things it's bound to be doing? What do you think that compassionate, loving, caring, understanding higher parts of self would say to that clumsy little self of ours that, that, that airs that screws up because that's part of the deal. If some of you believe that we were created uh, to be absolutely perfect and never made mistakes, let me stop you right here. This is built in. This is part of the deal we signed upon when we decided to incarnate. Okay, so let's put that aside. Now, if you are now able to step into that higher self, that compassionate, loving, embracing, caring self, what would you say to that clumsy kid within? Because a kid is going to be a kid, right? It's going to do kids things. Here's what I think you'd say. Oh. I'm going to do it again. Oh, look at that. Right? Yeah. Come here. It's okay. It's okay. Not the staff of judgment, but the staff of discernment. See, when you're a judge, you're not 
all the time condemning people. You're trying to discern what's right from wrong. You're being discerning. That's what judging really means. So where is that discerning part of self that is able to say, it's all right. You'll do better next time. This is going to help you because, because in fact, we need the sinning. <laughs> we need the mistakes. We need to mess up. Because that's how we learn. That's how we grow. We cannot try to live a life free of sin. We cannot try to live a life free of mistakes because then we're going to be stuck in whatever age we stopped making mistakes. <laughs> we need sin. Can you imagine a rabbi telling that? <laughs> this, doesn't, this doesn't leave this room, right? <laughs> So I invite you, I invite you to step into that, pla that, that, pra that, phew, that place within. I'm getting a little emotional here. Mm -hmm. That place, like it says, Sunetani Tokev, you, you give credence to this day. You make this day holy. So step into that energy. You are invited. You are welcome. If you could have a conversation today, spend this day having a conversation. You as your higher self, looking at all the things that your other self, your alter ego or your ego, doesn't need to be altered. And, um, and hold yourself with, with compassion. Hold yourself in, in gentle care and learn. Please rise. Unetane <laughs> tokef. <laughs>